Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm diving into the fascinating world of Pakistan's political landscape. Buckle up, it's a wild ride. Let's start with the upcoming election. Pakistan is gearing up for its 12th election amidst a storm of economic instability and political uncertainty. The main contenders, the Sharif brothers with their party PMLN and Bilawal Bhutto Zardari leading the PPP, but there's a twist. Imran Khan, the founder of PTI, is out of the picture due to criminal convictions. Public disillusionment is at an all-time high. Many Pakistanis are skeptical about any real change. The military, while not directly in the fray, continues to cast a long shadow over the elections. Concerns about election fairness and a potential low voter turnout are looming large. The outcome of this election, it's a big deal especially for Pakistan's economy and political stability. The international community is on the edge of their seats, hoping for a peaceful transition of power. Now here's where things get really interesting. Despite all odds, Imran Khan's PTI party clinched a significant victory. How, you ask? Khan, even from prison, nominated Omar Ayub Khan as his preferred candidate for prime minister. Omar Ayub, a former finance minister with a solid business background, also has criminal charges against him and is currently in hiding. His nomination sets the stage for a political showdown with Shehbaz Sharif, who enjoys the backing of the military establishment. This situation underscores the ongoing power struggle between Pakistan's civilian leaders and the military. The international community is watching closely, urging all parties to respect the democratic process. So there you have it, folks. Pakistan's political drama is a blend of historical legacies, power struggles and an uncertain future. Stay tuned for more updates as we continue to unravel this complex narrative. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Catch you next time. Ta-ra.